I met James at a wedding in Cornwall of all places and his family were up here farming. So I followed my heart and came to Aberdeenshire to live with my husband and um, we bought our own farm. I am a uh, farmer's son. I was originally uh, born in Kent down in England and then I went off and studied agriculture at Sirencester, Royal Agricultural College down in, down in Gloucestershire and then went on to be a farm manager uh, for a large scale business down in Hampshire and Wiltshire before Jane and I uh, met and got married and we moved, moved to Drumblade where we're now farming in our own right um, and doing what we're doing really. Although we're both from farming families, there was no succession opportunity for either of us. So we managed to persuade the bank to lend us enough money and with some savings we bought Newton of Beggs Hill. With the view to really breed sheep and grow strawberries and grow barley for malting and barley for feeding of the sheep. Um, but I'd always harboured a dream of doing something within tourism or if you'd like to call it agri-tourism perhaps because living in, on a farm and bringing people to the countryside is something I'm quite passionate about. And being fresh eyes into the area and fresh into Aberdeenshire, I could see how beautiful it was. And so I just felt that everybody would see the beauty that I could see. We chose to build something ourselves. My husband and my father are really capable people. I'm a lucky girl. And so we chose to build something that would be in keeping with the landscape, something that was agricultural, um, something that would blend in using wrinkly tin, a material I love and is very is historic really with farming. So we chose to build our form of boffies and uh, we decided to call it boutique farm boffies because we feel they're very special. They're bespoke, we've, we've made them with our own hands and with our own designs and with a lot of love and a lot of effort. I suppose when we built the Barley Bothy, it was a leap of faith. Um, I felt that it was beautiful and that people would want to come here, but we weren't entirely sure. So we hedged our bets and made it for in, big enough for four people, for a family, so our friends could come and stay if it plummeted. But I have to say, it's been so well received. People love coming to the countryside, to the peace and quiet. And my vision was very much that it should be a space for families to reconnect, to be off grid, to put their phones away, not to have a television, but to actually play board games and card games and to talk to each other. Also to slow down by using wood burning stoves. They, both bothies have um, wood fired hot tubs, wood fired um, stoves inside. So boiling the kettle takes 45 minutes, but it's all about taking a breath and slowing down and doing the things that you're too busy in ordinary life to take the time to do. And I think the interesting part for a lot of guest stays is the fact that we are a working farm. So they're relaxing while we're busy farming around them. We're very much a team, James and I, and in terms of the farming, he loves his arable farming, so he's very passionate about growing barley for malting and growing cereals and crops for the sheep. And then James is a great grower, so he grows strawberries and I'm a great talker and I market the strawberries and sell the strawberries locally. And I also really enjoy the sheep side of things. We, I really enjoy lambing time. It's a hard time, but it's laborious, it's jobless, never ends. It's relentless and it's really busy, but seeing new life is so rewarding and helping new life into the world is wonderful. And it's a whole family job, actually, lambing. The two children we have help us an awful lot. And I enjoy uh, working our sheep dogs very much. So we come very much together on the sheep enterprise and do a lot of that ourselves. Gus, sit still, if you could. When people talk about Scotland, you envisage mountains and lochs and the glens and um, my husband kept telling me how he managed a, an arable farm and it was thousands of acres and I, I couldn't get my head around that until I came to the northeast. I think the living in the northeast is fantastic. Only this morning I went off, had a problem, had a breakdown on a, on a machine, took a hydraulic hose off, 
went to a neighbour of ours who's a, a smithy, you know, blacksmith, produces things. He also fixes hydraulic hoses. Literally popped down there, saw Alan, who fixed it. You know, we know Alan very well. It's a great community and I think there's nowhere else really probably better in the UK that has such a strong community sense. So um, I think it's fantastic to be honest. We couldn't think of anywhere better to live and with the, the scenes you've seen today with the machinery I mean, on a sunny day like this, there's nowhere better in the world, that's for certain. Aberdeenshire Council market themselves as the county from mountain to sea and it really is everything. It's so open and it's so different to the West Coast um, and that's what I love about Aberdeenshire, it's just very special and very unsung in lots of ways and I'm so delighted that people have found our bothies at Boutique Farm Bothies and now come to the northeast of Scotland. Um, we've kind of started to put it on the map and I think that's really special. Mm -hmm.